hi welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you so today I'm going to go and see Footloose at the Opera House in Manchester um, I paid £13 for my ticket and I'm sat in the stalls I think I'm on the very back row I'm row Z I think that's the very back I'm pretty sure I've got an aisle seat on the far side so the side of the stage and um, so obviously when I get there I'll show you what the view is looks like from my seat and I think the price is worth it for the seat so yeah so when I get there I'll show you any merch that they have and I'll also try and film the curtain call for you if I'm allowed to and um, yeah I'm gonna go and get food before the show I'm just gonna go I think to KFC or something I'm not gonna go to a restaurant or anything um, I think I'm just going to go to KFC just to be quick and yeah so I hope you enjoy this little theatre vlog. some trains for his birthday because of half price some Thomas trains so they're all in my bag and I just had a quick nip in Primark the quick nip in there but yeah I'm into the theatre now it took me about 15 minutes 20 minutes to get there so plenty of time I'm just at the theatre now it's already got all the um, promotion up for next next week's production but tonight is for the two times to go yeah I'm just going to head in now I think it's nearly half six so I've got an hour till it starts. But yeah, just gonna head in there. This is the back of the stalls, and I am three rows from the back here. This is my seat here, Z1, and this is the view in my seat. Not too bad, you have quite a big overhang from the circle. Led by a program, this is four pounds. So I'm going to read this now till it starts. Interval short, it's only 15 minutes long because we started so late. 
but it should be starting again any minute, so I'll get back to you at the end. So I'm now back from the theatre, a lot later than I thought I was going to be back. I got back, I think it was around half eleven. Obviously I think I mentioned while I was there that apparently the show had some major technical difficulties, which meant it was delayed by an hour, I think it was in the end. Um, it's supposed to start at half seven, it didn't start till half eight. 
so it was a lot of just waiting around everyone was just really packed in because they wasn't letting anyone into the auditorium I don't think they let us into the auditorium until eight o'clock so it's a long time for people to just be standing around and uh, obviously no one was wearing masks because masks aren't compulsory anymore and um, yeah it's a lot of people in a small amount of space waiting to get into the auditorium so anyway we got in around eight o'clock um then took ages for it to actually start it didn't obviously didn't start till half eight um and the show runs for just under two and a half hours so i think it finished around 11 o'clock and then i got home for half 11 so i got home pretty quick once i got on the tram um but yeah i did i did actually really enjoy it it was definitely worth the wait i did enjoy it it's not one of my favorite favorite musicals but there's a lot of good songs in it that i forgot that were in it actually um a lot of songs like from the movie that are in it and yeah i really enjoyed it i think i enjoyed the second half more than the first half i think um but yeah it was a really really good show so if you don't know the story of footloose it is based on a film i think it's from the 80s um and it's about a boy called ren who ends up moving from the city to like a small town in america and when he gets there he finds out that dancing and rock music has been banned and obviously he tries to bring it back to the town so that is basically the story of Footloose but yeah I had really enjoyed the show I actually thought the set was quite good as well I thought the set was good um and I just thought yeah that all the, the whole cast were just really good in it so yeah my seat was really really good um it was row z seat one I only paid £13 for my ticket and I thought my view was so good for £13. I would definitely sit there again. I thought maybe I might have missed some of it because of the overhang from the circle. But you still actually got a full view of the stage. The overhang didn't um, go over the stage at all. You could actually see the full stage in. So I didn't actually miss anything. The view was great. It was only slightly to the side. Um, I definitely think the view from the back of the opera house is better than the view from the back of the palace. Um, and I also think it's more sloped in the opera house. So yeah, I just thought the view was really, really good. And I'd definitely sit in those seats again, especially if I can get them for £13. So I'll definitely be looking to sit in them seats again. They were really, really good for the price. So they did have some merchandise for the show. They had some t-shirts, I think there was two, maybe two or three t-shirts. They had a hoodie, they had a tote bag, a water bottle, a mug, a um, key ring, and then they had a souvenir brochure as well as the programme. Um, I only bought the programme because they didn't have any magnets, and I collected magnets at the minute. So I just I just didn't get anything other than the programme. Um, I'm not sure on the prices of anything. There wasn't a price list. But the programme was £4. And I think he said you can get the programme and the souvenir brochure for £10. Um, but I only wanted the programme. But yeah, I did film the merch. So you, you will be able to see. You will have seen that in the video. So there were a couple of understudies on for this performance. We had Anna Westlake as Ethel, Betty and the coach. Um, and I think they're usually played by Jerry Allen and then we also had Loosely Island on as Lulu and Lulu is usually played by Anna Westlake so the one that was playing um, Ethel is usually the one that plays um, Lulu but obviously she was playing Ethel so they had to get someone else to play Lulu so those were the understudies that were on so yeah now I'll just show you quickly the programme so this is the programme so inside just tells you a bit about what's on at the palace and stuff and then you have your cast so you had Jake Quickenden as Willard and he was really good I really enjoyed his performance Darren Day as Rev and uh, yeah he was good he's been in quite a few things Darren Day that I've seen um, and then you had Joshua Hawkins as Ren, and he was really, really good. I really enjoyed his performance of Ren. Again, um, Lucy, Lucy Munden as Ariel, she was really good. I enjoyed her performance. They got Holly Ashton as Viv Moore and the and Principal Clark. 
Jerry Allen usually plays Ethel McCormack and um, Betty and the coach. But as I said, um, it was the understudy that was on for her today. Then Tom Sell played Chuck. He was really good as well. They were all really good, actually, all of them. And then you have, I can't pronounce her name, but she played Rusty. Uh, Samantha Richards played Yulene and Dance Captain. Jess Barker as Wendy Jo. Ben Motherly as Jetta and Cowboy Bob. Alex Fobster as Bickle. Ben Barrow as Wes. And Anna Westlake as Lulu. Well, um, it wasn't Anna on this today, it was the understudy who was Lucy Ireland who's on this page. But usually she is off stage swing. And then Daniel Miles who's also off stage swing. So that's the whole cast. As I said they were all really really good. They did really well in the performance considering there was such a big delay. Um, they all did really really well. This is the song list and as I said I forgot how many good songs are actually in this. I really enjoyed the songs. Um, of course you've got Footloose, On Any Sunday, The Girl Gets Around, that's a good one. Can't Stand Still, Somebody's Eyes, in fact that's probably one of my favourite performances um, of the show. I really really liked that song and I liked the, the performance of it. I thought it was really really good. Learning to be silent, holding out for a hero, again another good song. Somebody's eyes reprise, heaven help me, I'm free, so that's heaven help me. And act two, you've got still rocking, let's hear it for the boys, again that's another good song. Can you find it in your heart, dance is not a crime, mama says, mama says uncle, almost paradise, heaven help me reprise. Can you find it in your heart reprise, Footloose final and then the Mega Mix. Oof. And then you've got your full cast list here and your list of understudies and then you've got creators and production team there. And then you've got a photo that looks like it's from the rehearsal. Yeah, and then a few more rehearsal photos. We got the producers. And then you've got your adverts. So there's quite a few adverts in this, I think. adverts for what's coming to the theatre so that is the programme. Footloose is currently on at the Manchester Opera House till Saturday the 5th of March. It's then going to be touring around the country so I will link down below the web page which shows you where it's going on tour so if you want to buy tickets you'll be able to click on the link on their web page to find tickets for theatre near you. So yeah like I said I definitely recommend it. It was definitely a fairly fun uplifting show i just really enjoyed it like i said great music in it um really fun show and i did really enjoy it and i would definitely go and see it again i think lawrence would have enjoyed it if he come i do think he would have enjoyed it he just didn't i don't think he likes the movie so he didn't want to go but i think he would have enjoyed the performance because i really enjoyed it so yeah i hope you have enjoyed this little theatre vlog. We are actually going to the theatre on Thursday, we're going to the palace and we're going to go and see 9 to 5. So there will be another theatre vlog coming very very soon. So if you were interested in seeing that vlog please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when that video goes up. So yeah like I said I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and hope to see you soon. Bye.